It's that time of year again when you may be looking for stocking stuffers or low-cost gifts for friends or family that are into electronics or 3D printing. Well, I've got a whole set of tools here that may just fit your budget right here at Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. There's a lot of new printers coming out that print fast and print good, but they're also a lot more expensive. The low-cost Ender 3 or Ender 3 clones, now's a great time to get one because people are dumping them on eBay or companies are getting rid of them at low cost. I remember seeing the Ender 3 V2 for $99 at Micro Center, brand new, in the box. But if you get one of these printers, you're probably going to have to fix a few things or at least put it together out of the box, and that's where you need tools. When you get one of these low-cost printers new in the box, they typically give you enough tools to put it together. A couple Allen wrenches, a couple regular wrenches, maybe a screwdriver or two, and that's enough to put it together. But once you start 3D printing, you're going to need some extra tools. Many printers include side cutters like this, but they're flush cut, so they're perfect for circuit boards. If you're soldering something, you can clip the leads really tight. So having more than one of these around is very, very helpful. So one for your 3D printer, one for your electronics. So having extra is definitely recommended. Needle nose pliers is another helpful tool. With your fat fingers, you can't get into things. Needle nose pliers can help you get whatever you got to get out of the fan or stuck in the track. But also it's helpful when you've got to touch something hot, say a nozzle that you just took out and you need to pick it up, you can pick it up with the needle nose pliers and not burn your fingers. Now sometimes your needle nose pliers can't even get into spots and that's where a fine tip tweezers is really helpful. You can get them at a 45 degree angle or straight, but they're great because they can pick up little pieces, get into spots where no needle nose pliers could go. And if you're into electronics, they're perfect for picking up surface mount components components and placing them before you solder them. So this is a tool you definitely want to have. Now many of these low-cost printers have adjustment knobs to level your bed so you get that perfect first layer, which is really important. But they recommend you use paper at each corner to adjust, and that's kind of crude. That's why I came up with the E-Leveler 2. It gives you a visual indication at each corner that you've got the bed leveled. And it comes with G-Code that you can download, so it'll position the nozzle at each position at the right height. So all you have to do is adjust the bed, get the right indication, and it gets you that perfect first layer for your 3D print. Another tool that's handy for calibrating your 3D printer is a digital caliper. You can use it to measure your CHEP cubes and make sure you're getting close to 20 millimeters on each side, X, Y, and Z. And this doesn't have to be super expensive. A low-cost plastic one like this that gives you good, accurate reading is just fine. I don't care how inexpensive or expensive your 3D printer is, there's going to be 3D prints that need to be cleaned up. Either edges cut off or holes cleaned out. So having a good set of X-Acto knives and maybe even a pad to cut on top of so you don't cut into your bench or into your desk, that can be very handy. Another tool for cleaning your 3D prints is a deburring tool. With its pivoting head, you can drag it across 3D prints and clean the edges or get into holes and clean those edges right off. It works really well and typically won't cut you if you slip and hit your finger. A small flat file is another tool that's handy for cleaning edges of your 3D prints. And brushes. You can never have enough of these brushes. They're great for cleaning 3D prints, also cleaning your nozzle or cleaning spots in your 3D printer. You've got nylon, brass, and stainless steel. All of them have a purpose. All of them are handy. Nozzle cleaning wires are also handy. You can stick them into the nozzle, there's different sizes, and push that plastic right out once the nozzle's heated. Also, small brushes that can get in there and clean the fins of the heat sink to let air flow properly and keep everything cool. These are very handy to have for any 3D printer. Many printers will include a putty knife to help you take the prints off the bed, but they have sharp corners that I don't know how many times I've jabbed myself with, and they're often too thick to get that print off. That's where I like a painter's knife with a nice rounded edge. It's very thin and flexible. It can slide right under the 3D print, and because of its shape, you can pry it right off. This is incredibly handy no matter what printer you have. Now, it doesn't matter what bed surface you have, there's going to be times when you need to help your 3D print stick. Maybe corners are rounding up or something like that, and glue stick will really be helpful. And I like the Avery glue stick. They work really well. Just a small one like this is really handy to have with your 3D printer. Now, any of these tools are available. You can buy them separate, mix and match, do what you want. We do offer the Filament Friday Toolkit, which groups all of these, except the E-Leveler, into one toolkit and comes with a zip-up bag. So it's very handy. For $39.99, you get all these tools ready to work with your 3D printer. 
The E-Leveler 2 is a separate item from the kit. For $24.99, you can get this to help you level your bed. If you like 3D printing, you may also like electronics, or at least want some electronics tools to help you work on your 3D printer. Well, I found this great kit on Amazon. It's very low cost, but it comes with some great tools. Let me show you what's inside. First of all, the case has a flashlight right on top, battery operated from the panel underneath. And the top tray comes with a few things. Side cutters, which you want for electronics. These tweezers that I talked about, both a straight and a 45 degree. It also has sponges in here for a soldering iron base, which I'll show you in a minute, and replacement tips for our soldering iron. There's also solder, and there's also a universal screwdriver with various bits. So very, very handy. But underneath is the really good stuff. First off, you get a meter. This is great. You can measure voltage, current. It's even got a transistor tester. But a lot of these low-cost meters, which this isn't a high-quality one, but most of them don't have a continuity check that gives you the beep, but this one does. This has also got a backlit LED, so you can see it in dark areas, which is actually quite handy. So that's one thing you're gonna definitely use with electronics or even checking circuitry on your 3D printer. But the best part of this kit is the soldering iron. They include a really nice soldering iron. It's 110 volts, but it's got a adjustable temperature right down here in the handle, and the tips that they use are the same as my high-priced Heiko soldering iron. I've had this thing for over 20 years. I love it. If you're going to get a really good soldering iron, get a Heiko. H-A-K-K-O. Some say it's Hako. I've heard it pronounced as Heiko, but it's the same style tip. So if you need replacement tips with this, even though it comes with a few, you can get the same tips. Really quality tips. Another advantage to this style tip is if you want to use those threaded inserts like CNC kitchen cells, he has a tool that you put in your soldering iron so you can push them into your 3D prints and give you threads. Well, that tool fits this style soldering iron. In addition to this, they also give you a sturdy stand to hold the soldering iron, not some bent piece of metal you just rested on. This thing's all metal and heavy duty. They also give you a solder sucker, and not just some cheap thing. This is actually a nice one. So it's excellent for doing repairs on electronics. They also give you a huge pack of shrink tubing of various sizes and thicknesses. So if you have any repairs on wiring to your 3D printer, or you're making a harness for your electronics, these are very, very handy to have. You get all this electronics plus this case and a flashlight for $23.98. I'll put a link to it in the description below. In fact, I'll put a link to all this in the description below. You don't have to buy our tool kit to get to these tools. You can get these individually on Amazon, but we put them all together. So you buy one kit, you get everything you need. The only thing I ask is don't buy the clones of my E-Leveler. They're not as accurate. You're not going to be as happy with the performance. We went through a lot of work to get the accuracy of the switch and everything, plus a beefier uh, battery holder. There's is plastic and won't hold up. Plus, we have the end cap, which gives you a nice balance. There, there's a lot of little things that we did to make this more accurate and easier to use, plus our G-code files. So you can buy the cheaper one if you want, but you're not going to be happy. Get the original if you're going to use my e-leveler to level your bed. So if you're looking for low-cost gifts or stocking stuffers for that friend or family member who does 3D printing or electronics, check these out. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or get a membership at things.com. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.